Welcome everyone, this afternoon we're taking a look at the Winco 3 quart stainless steel mixing bowl. This is the heavy duty version which I found works a lot better if you're using metal utensils or anything that is a little bit tougher on the surface. I've been using this bowl for the past several weeks for those smaller tasks like making crepe batter, it works great for that, making flatbread dough, those smaller tasks where you don't really want to be breaking out the large mixing bowl for. In this video I'm going to be covering three parts. First, I'm going to go over the specifications. Second, I'm going to show you a quick demo where I use this bowl to do some really fast pastries. And third, I'm going to go over functionality. So let's begin with some measurements. This mixing bowl measures 9 inches in diameter and it has a height of 3 and 5 eighths of an inch. I'm not going to pull out the scale, but when I checked earlier, it weighed in at 261 grams. Now for a demo, I'm making a batch of pastries for a little afternoon snack. Over here I've got some flour, I already mixed it in with baking powder. I'm going to add some water, a little bit of olive oil, and some fresh fennel seeds. I'm going to crush these to release all that aroma right into our pastries. It doesn't need to be a powder, this will work just perfect. And all this equipment you can pick up off of Tiger Chef, everything you see here. Now it's just a matter of mixing it all together. Once it's ready, we're also going to top it with some poppy seeds. And now I'm just going to roll this out nice and thin. And then we'll cut it into strips. Now when I add the poppy seeds, I always like to run the roller on top just to get them to sit nice and tight on this dough. Otherwise they tend to fall off. Now we're just going to twist them and set them right on the pan. Now these are going to go in the oven until they're nice and crisp. Alright, I just pulled these out of the oven and they're all ready. You can tell they're all nice and golden brown. Even though they're still really, really hot, I took a bite anyway. And the aroma from that fennel seed, absolutely amazing. They, they taste incredible. Moving on to functionality. The first thing I really like about this bowl, look at the surface. It's got this brushed stainless steel finish and you can hardly tell that there are scratches all around. Over the past few weeks I've been using it, it's always been with metal utensils and I put a lot of scratches in the surface. That just happens when you use metal utensils. But it's very difficult to tell with a brushed stainless finish. The next aspect I liked, and this really goes with all the Winko heavy duty mixing bowls, they're really sturdy, so if I try to flex them, if I try to bend them, I can't. The metal is thick and it's rigid, it feels really solid. And one last note for folks that are wondering what size mixing bowl to get. This is definitely on the smaller side. And Winko makes these in all sizes. You can go up to 5 quarts, or you can even go up all the way to this large 13 quart one. So if you're just looking for a bowl for those smaller tasks, you're mixing things by hand, this three quart size is perfect, but if you're planning to use an electric mixer, I'd suggest going with a five quart size instead because this is going to prevent the splatter from getting all over the place. To sum things up, this is a sturdy little mixing bowl, a simple tool but it comes in so handy in the kitchen. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will get them answered for you.